Well, Jamal Gwaif, good morning to you all. This is my new sash now that I've replaced from the old one. This is the bottom one, and it has uh, everything done to it now, and it's ready for the final paint. And so we put a primer coat on it, and then we put a top coat. So this is the uh, bottom sash, and the top one is behind me here. So they're Georgian style, of course, you can see they are Georgian style. Now this is the meeting rail of the top sash, where it has a rebated rail on it. So that's the top one, and the bottom one has a rebate on it also. If we turn this around, it has a rebate on this particular one on the bottom, the seal goes in there. So we've got a seal between the top and bottom sashes when they actually meet sandwich together. The rebates are on it there to create a flush on top so the latch can go on it there to keep it closed. On the ends, on the ends there are the slots for the cords and the weights. And in this case, because they're old windows going into old frames, the frames are in fairly decent nick. So we're going to double seal them, we're going to put a uh, seal uh, pile strip on the edge here and the pile and come down here to seal it to the frame from the side. So I'm going to double seal them. The party bead and the staff bead will have seals on them also. And we'll see what I'm talking about there when we put it on camera. Uh, we've got here the slots for the cords that will go up to the pulleys up on top. And we'll also show the seals then on top. The, these are double, going to be double sealed. They'll be sealed on the edge of the sashes. And they'll also have a staff bead seal and a party bead seal. Which now, so this is the front side. Obviously, this is the inside. The base has a slope on it here, 14 degrees in this case. And it has the, the tracking will go on there, the weather seal tracking to seal it down onto the seal. The bottom sash here that shows the inside. It's got the slope on the edge there, which meets, which is the seal part goes down. This is the inside sash which runs up the way. We've got the slot on the sides here for the cord to go into which will take the pulley above and then we've got the glazing on this side which will be puttied in this case is traditional for Georgian style window. And in this case here as well we have in this case you can just see it there there's a slot there to take the glass so it slots in and goes into position here and then it's sealed from the from with putty from the sides and the bottom. In this case, it's siliconed into the top here. That's the underside there. That's the underside of it, so the glass will pop in this way and then it'll be puttied into position. Now, that's the original window. We've, tops, we've two sets there of top and bottom sashes. We've everything done to them. They're ready for the priming coat now. We'll get two top coats in. And we plant on the seals then, put the piles into them and then they're ready for fitting on site, which should be a minimum amount of time required for that. Always do as much as we can in the shop, it just saves time when we go out. This is the old sash now as you can see, this is the one we showed earlier, so it's full of flight holes, it's full of woodworm and it has no structural strength left, it'll just bend very easily, which means it has, it's done its job, it's duty. It's come to end of life, so these are just for the dump. So we're just showing the old here. Here's the new. And just to finally say, we made the sashes here in uh, Sapelli, which is a mahogany. So I'll take a good finish. And these hopefully should last, if they're maintained properly, they'll certainly last a century or more. So, Anishka Dean Kedo Rella, until the next hour we meet, it's long before. Bye for now. Hope the buggy, take it easy.